Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn the top five regular expression tips you can use with Google Analytics. If you're not familiar with regular expressions, also known as regex, they allow you to do more advanced matching with the data in your reports. You can use them when creating segments, building custom reports, applying filters to your reporting views, and more. By using these top five regular expression tips, you'll be rocking Google Analytics in no time. And regular expressions aren't just limited to Google Analytics. There are a whole range of other applications too. Let's jump in and cover the top five regular expression tips for Google Analytics. Tip number one is to use the OR statement. This is a powerful way to immediately speed up the way you use Google Analytics. For example, we can use a table filter like this one in the All Pages report to just focus on a selection of important pages. However, we can speed things up by using a regular expression that includes an OR statement. Here's the same example, but this time we're using regular expressions with pipes to say we want to match the first, the second, or the third page. You can also extend this to include additional pages by adding another pipe and then including another page. You can also apply this technique anytime you need to match multiple values in Google Analytics, from multiple acquisition sources, keywords, geographic location, anything at all. And if you're wondering where to find the pipe symbol, it's typically located with the backslash key on your keyboard. Tip number two is where we match everything in our regular expression. This might sound strange, but it's a quick, flexible way of matching elements where you don't know all of the possible values or we don't want to include all of the values in our expression. To match everything, we use a full stop, which says match any single character, immediately followed by an asterisk, which says match zero or more times. When we combine the full stop and the asterisk, this is saying match zero or more of any character. So match everything. Let's say we're using the all pages report again, but this time we just want to see blog posts that relate to the topic of analytics. I can use the table filter to search for forward slash blog, forward slash, then full stop, asterisk, and then analytics. This allows me to find any page from my blog that also includes analytics in the page path. Tip number three is to match things at the beginning. For example, if we're using the Search Console reports in Google Analytics and we want to see all of the search queries that begin with our brand name, we can use this regular expression. The caret symbol says that there can't be anything before our expression. It must be at the beginning. So for our example, we're saying that loves must be at the start of the search query. There can't be anything before loves, so this would match loves and also loves with any additional characters following it. This is also useful for matching particular pages and even particular folders in your reports. Here's another example. In this case, the regular expression will match all pages in our report that begin with forward slash blog. Tip number four is to match things to the end. Let's say we want to configure a goal in Google Analytics that tracks a conversion for every page that ends in thank you. We can quickly achieve this using a regular expression. Here's what our goal configuration would look like. You'll notice that we've selected regular expression as the match type for the goal and that we've entered thank dash you followed by the dollar sign. This means that the expression will only match strings ending in thank you. It won't match any pages where there are additional characters after thank you. Tip number five is using brackets to make a list of items to match. This is similar to the first tip, but can be used in the middle of an expression. For example, let's say we want to match these pages on our website. We want to match forward slash contact dash news forward slash thank you. And we want to match forward slash contact dash lead forward slash thank you. You can do this with the following regular expression. This is creating a list of items in our case, news or lead. And a bonus tip for you is that you can also use brackets to store a variable if you're filtering views in Google Analytics. So they're the top five regular expression tips for Google Analytics. If you're new to Google Analytics, then don't worry if they're a bit confusing at first. They are more advanced, so you'll need to spend a bit of time learning about them and playing with them inside Google Analytics. But they will help speed up the way you use Google Analytics and give you even more flexibility in the way you analyze and report on the performance of your website and your marketing campaigns. 
remember that you can use regular expressions for a range of different needs. You can use them when filtering data in your reports, creating segments, building custom reports, configuring content groups, creating filters and more. So what's stopping you? Jump into your reports and start playing with regular expressions. You'll be rocking Google Analytics. Do you have any tips you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.